Let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs. The future for which I have really worked is mine. It's not the love you make, it's the love you give. I am trying to awake the energy contained in the air. These are the main sources of energy. What is considered as empty space is just a manifestation of matter that is not awakened. I have always been ahead of my time. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments and they wander off through equation after equation and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. Love. I recognize the emotion for what it is, an irrational self-destructive impulse which is disguised as joy. When wireless is fully applied, the earth will be converted into a huge brain capable of response in every one of its parts. Great moments are born great opportunity. The Buddhist expresses it in one way, the Christian in another, but both say the same. We are all one. You may live to see man-made horrors beyond your comprehension. Peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment. Each day we go to our work in the hope of discovering. Perhaps I failed, but I did my best. These masters of mine may do the rest. The opinion of the world does not affect me. I have placed as the real values in my life what follows when I am dead. The desire that guides me in all I do is the desire to harness the forces of Natura to the service of mankind. Everyone should consider his Bodhi as a priceless gift from one whom he loves above all, a marvelous work of art, of indescribable beauty and mystery beyond human conception, and so delicate that a word, a breath, a look, nay, a thought may injure it. There is no energy in matter other than that received from the environment. I do not think you can name any great inventions that have been made by married men. My belief is firm in a law of compensation. The true rewards are ever in proportion to the labor and sacrifices made. Originality thrives in seclusion, free of outside influences. Though free to think and act, we are held together like the stars in the firmament with ties inseparable. These ties cannot be seen, but we can feel them. In a crystal we have clear evidence of the existence of a formative life principle, and though we cannot understand the life of a crystal, it is nonetheless a living being. But instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have, undoubtedly, certain finer fibers that enable us to perceive truths when logical deduction or any other willful effort of the brain is futile. Of all the frictional resistances, the one that most retards human movement is ignorance. 